I know there's a lot of disappointment about the Japanese government not opening up for independent travelers and tourists. June 10th was the date for group package tours from abroad. June 10th came and left and until now I haven't seen any group package tours. Now what you see behind me, there's students that are traveling on the Shinkansen here for their summer trip. I think the attempt for Prime Minister Kishida to satisfy some people who kept pressuring him to open up Japan has in a way failed. Hey everyone, this is Mike Matsuno, the man in Japan. If this is your first time to the channel, if you're interested about Japan and want to be kept updated on what's going on in Japan, please hit that like button and subscribe. There might be some movement after July 10th, the upper house elections. Even if the LDP and Prime Minister Kishida win a strong majority, it'll still take several weeks probably to as well as right now in Tokyo, the coronavirus numbers of new cases are going up again. Not only in Tokyo, but in this area around here. So that also will affect whether they decide to really change anything between group package tours and independent traveler and tourists. I don't know if there are gradual steps that they may let a number of independent tourists in or what. But right now, everything is still wait and see. And I know it's frustrating and disappointing for many people. You probably don't want to come in the summer to Japan, which is when the group tours are going to be starting to come. Maybe middle of July, end of July, maybe August. I strongly discourage people from coming to Japan during the summer months, which, which is July, August, September, unless you really cannot help it because maybe you teach or maybe that's, you know, your schedule is set and you can only take off in the summer. Outside of those people, as much as possible, avoid summer. People say to me in Japan, oh Mike, you're from Hawaii, so you must be used to the heat. The heat in the summer of Japan is completely different from Hawaii. Summer is extremely, extremely hot and humid. It's very muggy and sultry, and um, it's not fun, you know, when you're outside moving about. In fact, last week, there were eight days straight of record-breaking, high temperatures in Tokyo and six other locations. It was a heat wave and it was continuing until, ironically, they were rescued by the typhoon that's oncoming and coming here at this very moment, you know, where it's cloudy now, it's raining, it's blowing, kind of warm wind, but the typhoon saved them from the heat wave. The hottest time of summer is July, August, September, and in October, it starts to cool down. So you may want to come in the fall if they do open up. Now, there was the JTB person who was saying that maybe September they might open up. But again, he was very cautious. He said, this is not definite because anything can happen. My previous guesstimation was probably end of this year, maybe November, December, but it might be maybe the first three months of 2023. But again, that's just my take on this. You know, everyone's guessing. Everyone wants to come to Japan. My advice maybe is you might want to go to Thailand this fall or this summer. Thailand is hot also, but at least you don't have to worry about restrictions. You don't have to worry about travel insurance. You don't have to worry about PCR tests. You can just go to Thailand. And maybe next year, when Japan is finally open for independent travelers and tourists, maybe then you want to come to Japan. Just a suggestion. So I haven't seen any group tourists since June 10th all the way until today. In my last video, I went to visit Kix, Kansai Kuko, and I waited for about three hours just watching. And I didn't see any group tourists. I did see groups that were coming for training, athletes for competitions, students coming to study, but no group package tours. Now, 1,300 people have applied according to the Japan Tourism Agency. But again, that's for the entire summer so far. 20,000 people a day are permitted to enter. And, and that includes everyone, returning Japanese, permanent residents, work people with work visas, you know, students, business people. That's all under the 20,000 people a day cap. But no tourists is what I've seen. 1,500 applications for a visa over the entire summer, July, August, and in the future so far. It's really, really small. It's a drop in the bucket. So it basically tells me that Prime Minister Kishida's attempt to open up probably is not going well. And there's a lot of people who don't want to come on package tours. I got a lot of pushback in the comments on my, um, some of my videos that a lot of people said, I'm never going to go on a package group tour. And especially when they have such 
strict restrictions, right? You have to stay with the group. You have to buy travel insurance. Of course, you have to do the PCR 72 hour before you leave test. You have to sign the pledge. You have to apply for a visa. Additional costs, and it takes additional time. So with all that going on, I don't think people will be coming to Japan on the package tours. In 2019, there was, out of all the tourists that came to Japan pre-COVID, 17, one seven, 70 percent of the people were on group package tours. So if you just take that block, will 70 percent of all tourists come? I don't think so because of the new restrictions, because of all the hassle. I would guess maybe 5 percent at the most, which means that that's nothing for Japan and nothing for those hospitality and tourism vendors who have been waiting for the country to open. I don't know what they're going to do, but again, because of the election coming up on July 10, LDP has been very cautious. They've been saying the same thing over and over, the same double talk that really doesn't say anything. And after July 10, you can see if they do win a, a strong majority, there might be some movement. But again, that still will be a few weeks before they're able to implement anything just because it takes so long to get anything done. As well as in Tokyo, the coronavirus new case numbers are going up. So that will also affect whether they decide to open up Japan sooner or later or what kind of new um, entry policies will they implement. And when you really think about the concept of group package tours, most Westerners like Americans, Australians, um, English, they don't really want to do that type of tour. I think that the idea of group package tours were perfected in the 1980s and 90s by Japanese tourist companies like JTV because Japanese were the ones who used package tours a lot like going to Hawaii four nights six days so the reason was language cultural differences and also they had a minimum amount of time and they wanted to maximize their time so if they're only in Hawaii like four nights six days which is actually only like four days they wanted to get where they were going do the shopping get everything done and it was the most effective and efficient way for people on a short period of time in any destination. Whereas with Americans and Westerners, they want to roam around. They want to go where they want to go and they really don't like package tours. Yes, you have some who do come on package tours. Yes, I've seen some Europeans here from Germany and Switzerland who come on package tours. Mainly I see Asians, whether it's from Taiwan, from Hong Kong, from Thailand, Chinese that come on package tours. A lot of people will not come on group package tours because of the lack of freedom, but also the additional cost, right? There's no real plus except that you can come into Japan. So you might as well wait, I think, which might be this fall, which might be end of this year or the beginning of 2023. And for those of you who haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button if you like the channel. It helps motivate me and keeps me making these videos. Until next time, arigato.